Okay, good morning. I just told you in math class that make sure you get back on because I am posting something for social studies. So you have your Native American packet today, okay? Our Indian packet says so called North American Indians, okay? And the Indian nations. So we're going to start talking about Indians and where they lived and what they do, how they dress, what they live in, and things like that. So you're going to use your packet today. You can also listen online today because I opened it up so you can get in your studies weekly and you can get in the studies weekly and you should and you can be able to do you should be able to get into studies weekly, but you have your packet and we're going to do a couple of these together. okay? You also have this page here. Okay, this is seek and find. So we're going to seek and find the answers to these questions in our book. Or you can do it on the, on the computer if you, after we finish, okay? Because we're going to do a couple together to get you going, and then you can finish on your own. Okay, so the, make sure your name is on this one. The first question says, who were the first people to live in North America? Well, and it tells us in the middle column. So we have our question, and then it tells us where we can find it. It says on the front cover. That means on this very first page. Look in here. Who were the first people to live in North America? Well, let's listen down here. It says, American Indians were the first people who lived in North America. There are more than 500 American Indian nations in North America today. People in North American, people in many American Indian nations pass on their traditions at powwows. A pow, at powwows, people sing, dance, and tell stories. They enjoy arts and crafts made by American Indians. So, who did it say was the first people to live in America? Told us right here, American Indians. So, where it says the answer column, we're going to write Amer American Indians. Okay, American Indians. We wrote that down. It's the very first two words on our page. American Indians. Okay, the next question says, where in the United States have the Seminole Indians lived? So we're looking for this word here that says Seminole. Right here, this word that starts with an S. Seminole, the Seminole Indians. Where did they live? And it tells us we can find that on page two. So if we open our booklet, our pamphlet, to page two, and we can find the word Seminole Indians. Oh, looky there, right down here at the bottom, Seminole Indians. And we're going to read about the Seminole Indians to answer the question, where in the United States have the Seminole Indians lived? Well, let's read and see. The Seminole have lived in Florida for nearly 300 years. Long ago, many Seminole lived in homes called chickies. A chickie is an open building with a roof made of cabbage palm leaves. So, this little paragraph down here tells us about the Seminole Indians. And this is what they lived in, a chickie. And where did it say they lived? It was the very first line. The Seminoles have lived in blank. They lived in Florida. So that was the first line of the sentence. That's what our question was. They lived in Florida. Okay. Let's do one more together and then let's see if you can figure out some of these on your own. Okay. The next question says, what was the main animal that the Cheyenne Indians hunted? Listen to that again. What was the main animal that the Cheyenne Indians hunted? It says to look on page two. 
So I'm going to look at page two. This one doesn't say Cheyenne. It says Iroquois. This one says Cheyenne. I'm matching that word with right here, Cheyenne. And now I'm going to read this one right here. And the arrow points up to this picture. Okay? The arrow points to this picture. So it says, the Cheyenne live in the Great Plains region of the United States. Long ago, the Cheyenne hunted buffalo for food. In the winter, they wore buffalo skins to keep warm. So our question said, well, what do they hunt? Well, even if we can't read it, we can look at this arrow and we can figure it out. After you read it, it's a picture of a buffalo. So they hunted buffalo. So you can write the word buffalo. Okay? The buffalo. Okay, the next question says, which American Indian tribe uses totem poles? Which American Indian tribe uses totem poles? Hmm. And it says, page three. Well, looky here. This is a totem pole. This is a totem pole. It's made of a tree trunk. And they carve different animals out on it. And usually the animals are symbols that go with who lives in that house. And they put this outside of their house. So, let's listen to what it says. And the question is, which American Indian tribe uses the totem poles? It says, the Tingit live in Alaska. Tingit often carve totem poles. A totem is an animal spirit that belongs to the group of Tingits. So, which, what, what was the name of the tribe? It told us right there. It said, the Tingit live in Alaska. Tingit often carved totem poles. A totem pole is an animal, an animal spirit that belongs to the Tingit. Okay? It belongs to that group of Indians. So, write down what the name of that tribe was. It's the capital letter that's in there. What does it say? Who, which ant tribe makes the tendons? Okay? And we can write that down on your page. I'm not going to tell you. You have to figure out that word. I read it. I explained it. You figure it out. Okay. If you need to, you can pause and then come back. Okay. The next one says, what were the three sisters? What were the three sisters? It says page two. So we have to go back to page two. What were the three sisters? So we're going to look here again at page two. Hmm. Uh, three sisters. Oh, so I have to kind of look through and see if I can find those words. Three sisters. And I found those words right here at the top of the page, right down here. Three sisters. See the words? The same as what's on our paper. They're asking us, what were the three sisters? So we're going to read this. Here's a picture that the arrow's pointing to, so that might help us. That's a clue. So listen. Many Iroquois live in the state of New York. For many years, they grew corn, beans, and squash. They called them the Three Sisters. Listen again. Many Iroquois live in the state of New York. For many years, they grew corn, beans, and squash. They called them the Three Sisters. So if you look at this picture, she's working in a garden. So the three sisters are three things that they grew. So find the three things that they grew in this little story and write them down. The three things that they grew, that the Iroquois grew, 
are the three sisters. So you find the three things that they grow, okay, and write them down. I'm not going to tell you. Okay, good job. If you need to pause so you can get those wrote down, you can always come back to me. Okay, the last question. The last question says, what takes place at a powwow? What takes place at a powwow? So what happens at a powwow? And it says to go back to the front cover. So let's look at the front cover again. Here's that front cover, and we're going to reread it and see what it tells us. What happens at a powwow? Listen carefully. Okay, it says, American Indians were the first people who lived in North America. There are more than 500 American Indian nations in North America today. People in many American Indian nations pass on their traditions at powwows. At powwows, people sing, dance, and tell stories. They enjoy arts and crafts made by American Indians. Okay, there are three things that happens at a powwow, and it tells me that in a sentence. The sentence starts with, at powwows. People do what? Three things. It's right here in the front. See if you can find the three things that they do at powwows and write them on our paper. Okay, write those three things that they do at powwows. You can find them. I have faith in you. I know you can find it. The three things that they do at powwows. Okay, if you didn't get those wrote down, you can always pause and find them and then write down, then come back to me because I have something very, very important I'm going to tell you. Okay, on the back side of this paper, you are going to draw a picture. You are going to draw a picture of the three things that are called the three sisters. Draw me a picture what you three kinds of vegetables that you wrote that you wrote down that they call the three sisters by doing this i know you watched my video so you're going to draw a picture of the three things the three things that they call the three sisters and on the back side and i know then that you watched my video okay also you may get back on like i said you can go to the social studies Studies Weekly, and you can log in, and you can click on this one here, North American Indians. You can re-listen to everything, okay? You're not taking the test today. We're going to do some more things, more activities before we take the test, so we're not taking the test today. You can, though, do the things on the back side. We have a crossword puzzle that you can do. Here's another game that you can do some matching down here. You can play the misbuild game on on the Studies Weekly site, okay? So those are the things that you can do. Remember though, on the back side, you're drawing the three things that is called the three sisters, and that way I know you watched my video. Okay, I will see you guys in class tomorrow. Have fun.